channel so today i created this adriana balloon okay so i definitely said her name wrong but you guys know who i'm talking about right okay proceed inspired valentine's day look it's really glowy and not as dramatic as my other valentine's day look so i really hope you guys like this look and let's just go ahead and get started okay so i'm currently sick right now so if i sound a little off in this video it's because i'm sick and i do not feel good like I'm so tired of being sick like I don't have time to be sick I'm like so annoyed because I was sick all throughout December literally I was sick on Christmas I think I was sick on Thanksgiving if I'm not mistaken or I was getting sick on Thanksgiving I think I was sick on Black Friday because I was at work I was getting over a cold on New Year's Day um, and then I was sick on my birthday which was January 8th and now it's Tuesday February 7th and I'm sick again. I know this time the reason why I'm sick is because I've been eating like trash. So yeah, that's what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and come back to you guys. I do plan on doing a eyebrow routine soon, but I haven't got around to it. So yeah, if you guys want an eyebrow routine, that will be coming soon, hopefully sooner than later. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did my eyebrows off camera and I used the NYX eyebrow pencil in dark brown to fill my eyebrows and then to carve them out I used my LA Girl Pro Concealer in beautiful bronze and I used my MAC 242 brush to like carve it out um I feel like I did my eyebrows a little thicker today but it's okay <laughs> okay so as you guys saw by the title this is a inspired look and I'm going to be Kind of recreating this look um and it's a very natural glowy look but it's still glam so that's what i'm going to do so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids with the ellie girl pro concealer in beautiful bronze so i'm going to blend this out with my real technique deluxe concealer brush And then I'm going to set everything into place with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm using my Real Technique contouring brush. Okay, now that I have a smooth blank canvas to work with, I'm going to take brown script from MAC and I'm using my Morphe E27 brush. And I am going to be using some new brushes in this um, video because I did get some new brushes so I guess this is a trying new products video not really because I'm just trying new brushes oh my gosh this brush is so soft <laughs> usually I use my Morphe M441 brush to put down my transition color but this Morphe E27 is so much softer it's kind of insane Okay, Alyssa Ashley, thank you for the recommendation um, because I watched her, what video was it? Um, I think it was one of the first boot camp brush video um, is where she just listed all the brushes that she was going to be using for the boot camp and I literally purchased like all of the brushes that she mentioned. Okay, I can't really see what um, Adriana has going on on her eyelids so I'm just about to finesse this eye makeup because I can't see what she got going on. Now I'm going to take brown down from MAC and I'm using my Morphe 514 brush and I'm going to take this color and put it in the outer corner of my eye and take it up into my crease just a little bit. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions and going up and down in the outer corner of my eye and then taking it up into my crease. Now I'm going to take a new eyeshadow that I got from ColourPop and it's the color cloud nine which is a brown eyeshadow but i feel like it has a purple undertone so i'm just going to use that to deepen up my outer corner a little bit more and i'm using that same morphe m514 brush and i'm just going to pop that into the outer corner of my oh my gosh <laughs> This eyeshadow is so smooth. Like this eyeshadow feels so like creamy. 
and I wasn't really expecting that, but I'm kind of digging it. And now I'm switching back to my Morphe E27 brush and blending everything through my crease. Now I'm taking my MAC Mix and Medium Eyeliner and I'm using my Morphe M156 brush and I'm using this end of the brush and I'm going to apply this Mix and Medium to my eyelids so that the eyeshadow that I put on my mobile eyelid does not crease and move all over the place. Now I'm going into my matte warm neutral palette and I'm going to take this color right here and apply that to my mobile eyelid. And I'm using my Sigma E54 brush and I'm using padding and sweeping motions. Now I'm going to be lining my lash line with this um, Maybelline Ice Studio in the color Black is Black. You can get it from Walmart. And I'm not going to be winging out this eyeliner because it doesn't look like she has eyeliner on in this picture at all. So I'm going to keep it really, really simple. And I picked up a new brush from Sephora. This is the um, Must Have Angled Liner Eyeliner Brush. Um, and this is the number 90. And it was actually on sale and and one of you guys actually told me to get it under my last makeup tutorial because I was looking for another angled eyeliner brush and I'm gonna order another one online because this was the last one in store so let's see how it works it looks really nice and flat so that's a good thing okay so I was definitely out of frame when I was doing my eyeliner so I didn't get myself doing it but I told you guys what I was doing so I hope that helps I like it okay so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye and I'm gonna start then towards the inner corner and get thicker towards the outer corner and now I'm just going to smudge out this liner a little bit towards the outer corner of my eye. And I'm taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek and I'm using my Morphe M408 brush. And this is a new brush as well. Um, you guys couldn't even see that. That's how it looks, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically just a smudger brush. It looks just like my e.l.f. smudger brush, but... I wanted to try another one, so I got this one. <laughs> now I'm going to apply some mascara, and I'm using the Push Up Angel Mascara from Maybelline. Okay, so I applied my lashes off camera, so this is how they look. And I have the Dodo Lashes in the style 303, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have the Dodo Lashes in the style 303. And I do have a coupon code, it's being Shani, my Instagram name. So if you want some money off these lashes, then I have a coupon code for you guys. And I'll list it down below for you guys. So yeah, we're done with the eyes for right now. So let's just go ahead and move on to the face. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using my Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC50. And I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge to apply this foundation. And I'll just put the foundation on the sponge and then apply it to my face. Did I prime my face? What the heck am I doing? <laughs> like... <laughs> Why? Bruh. Okay, so I'm going to be priming my face with the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Okay, so I just put the um, primer on my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dab it into my skin because I already have foundation on this side of my face. So we're just going to have to work backwards today now my face is primed i can put foundation on this side of my face that is so funny like how did i forget to prime my face <laughs> okay now i'm just gonna apply the foundation to this side of my face with the same real technique sponge this is how i know my head is not 
on right because I'm doing everything out of order. My makeup application is just a hot mess today. Really. Truly. To highlight my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. And Adriana looks like she's really highlighted and contoured or bronzed in her pictures. So I'm going to go a little lighter today. Now I'm taking my Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the color Deep. And it looks like this. You can get it from Walmart. And going to apply this all over and I'm just blending it out with my Real Technique sponge if my makeup application looks more sloppy than it normally does I apologize. I'm really not feeling it today. <laughs> I'm all discombobulated. Alright, now I'm going to be contouring with this Black Up Cosmetics contouring stick in the color N05. And this stick is very, very pigmented, so I'm not applying a lot. And now I'm blending it out with my Pure Cosmetics Contouring Brush. And this is another new brush that I got from here and it's really soft. If you guys do decide to cream contour, just make sure you're blending it out really, really well. Because you don't want to see like a light scalp and then a dark face. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you blend it into your hairline. And also when you're blending out your cheekbone area, you want to blend upward. Because if you blend downward, it's going to have the reverse effect. It's going to make your face look a little muddy. And you don't want that. So blend upward and apply a little bit of product at a time. So you won't have a whole bunch of product on your face that you can't blend out. And I think I put too much on my forehead. And I'm just blending this out in circular motions. And this brush is actually doing a good job. So I'm digging it. To blend out my nose contour, I'm using my Real Technique Deluxe Concealer Brush. And I'm blending it up into my brow just to add a shadow right there. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm using my Real Technique sponge. And I'm just pressing that into my under eyes until it disappears. being so extra today <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so basically I did this area because this area likes to crease and then I just dragged it under my cheekbone to clean this area up a bit and now I'm just gonna press it into my skin And now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Studio Fix powder in the color NC47. And then I'm going to set my contoured areas. And now I'm taking my True Complexion contour palette in the color medium to deep to set my contoured areas. For blush, I'm going to be using my Milani Romantic Rose Blush. And to apply it, 
<laughs> yes, my brush was on my bed. <laughs> to apply this blush, I'm using my Real Technique blush brush. To add some glow to my face, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow powders in the color Crown of My Canopy, and then I'll probably put Precious Petal on top of it. Okay, moving back to my eyes, I'm gonna finish my lower lash line, and I'm going in with the Brown Script from MAC, and I'm using my Morphe E36 brush, and I'm just going to smoke out the outer half of my eye. Just a little bit. And then I'm taking brown down from MAC and putting that on the outer outer corner of my eye. Does this make any sense to y'all? <laughs> okay, so I definitely wasn't recording, so I lined my bottom waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil in dark. And I did this because in her picture it looks like her bottom waterline is lined with a flesh tone color. So that's why I did that and I just applied some mascara and that was it. And for my lips, I'm using my Mick, Mick? <laughs> and then for my lips, I'm using my MAC Lip Gloss and I'm pairing that with my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tamasu. Alright you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it because I like how it came out even though I was all over the place. But anyways, if you did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe while you're at it. If you want to, you, you don't have to, but I would really love it if you did. And follow me on all my other social media platforms, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next upload. Ever since I left the city